Why, hello there, soulmates. My name is Soulkeeper, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4 Remake. This is the island level of the game, the island portion of the video game. And, well, we're going to be just starting off right here, af right after the Salazar fight. If you saved just before for this level or after the cells are fight or if you've saved the merchant be sure that you reload and fight cells are beat him and then come on through here because we're not going to save through this entire chapter all right so that's just be aware of that and then coming over here be sure you come over to these boxes and knock these because you want to get the supplies that are in these these are going to be very helpful on your quest because look at that i got a heavy nade out of it and you might get something different but it is worth going over there to get them also, there's the merchant over here to the right, so let's go over and make a pit stop because we need to I sort out some things. Welcome. One, Got we need to sell the treasure. And you might want to hold on to the clock on the crown if you don't have the jewels for them yet. But also, sell the magnum. Sell the broken butterfly because we're going to buy the Killer 7. The Killer 7 is a better magnum, and we don't have to do all that much with it. We also might want to repair our body armor here if you've taken a lot of damage to it. If you have the pesetas, get your riot gun to level 5, and maybe even your black to Ruby's level 5. Rubbish, no but if not, just, you know, make do with what you have. Get them as high as you can. Try to, at least. I sell a few handgun bolts here to try to get myself a little bit more stank on what I'm doing. And then I also go to trade and reclaim a bunch of velvet blues. Try to get myself a little bit of pesetas that way. And you can do that at this point. If you just have a lot of pesetas, excuse me, if a lot of spinals left over, you can go ahead and increase the power on your black tail or your riot gun that way. Before you head on through, be sure you come over into this little nook here and turn off the turret. And then you can jump down off that ledge and you don't have to go all the way around. So, yeah, that's our Magnum now, the Killer 7, and it's going to be pretty decent. We're going to use that against Krauser mostly, so get yourself ready for that. Now, the easiest way uh, and the most consistent way to get through here, i found, is to just go up this ladder, turn off the one turret, or at least change the direction of that turret, hop down here, and there's a red herb right there, go through this window, you might want to smack that box there, take some stuff. Odds are, you're going to get spotted. So just try to deal with it, try to dodge whatever comes at you. There's a barrel right here, you can smack that too and get some stuff. Now run over to the side, right here I'm mixing up one of my herbs. If you if you have any herbs, you might want to mix them together right now because this could get pretty hairy. Now once you go around this rock here, hit the switch on that turret and then run back through and just try to get through these guys the best you can. And uh, if you have a flash, that might be a good idea. You might want to have a pile of flashes for this if you have the resources. But understandable if you don't really have all that many resources at this point. Just do what you can and get through this window over here, back the way you came, and then go back to where this ladder was, dodge whatever guys are in here, and then go up the stairs and get yourself through this door. These double doors right here, just drag Leon through them. And you should have iframes once you start opening the door. And then, you know, the brute will just keep doing his thing and you'll be long gone by the time that ever becomes a problem. You can throw a flash here. There are some barrels there that might be worth getting. There's a Velo Blue and some Pesetas there. This guy comes on through. Just have your riot gun ready and take out this particular guy that comes charging through. It's a better idea that way. And then take Leon here and get him up the ladder. Once you get him up the ladder, these guys are not going to really be coming to at you all that much. I think they de at that point. This guy here while his back is turned, run up and get a sneak attack on him. Boom. Give him the business. And business is pretty good, right? Don't forget to smack these barrels too, because they got some goodies. Looks like we got a couple of magnum bullets. Nice. Yeah, it's nice when we get magnum bullets. Remember, we want to focus on magnum when we can here. Obviously, I am making some flashes because I need to get through this area. But when we have more resources, we're going to want to focus on magnum bullets before we get to Krauser. Because we're going to need those magnum bullets, man. We're going to need a lot of power, a lot of magnum. Alright, so there's going to be a rocket man up here. Watch out for him and uh, take cover. At least take cover, try to get out of the way, and toss a flash to get through this part. Okay. And... 
I don't know if that was the best way to do what I just did, but you might want to hang back a little bit. These guys are still going to be doing their thing. I almost got to the door there. It's kind of unfortunate that I didn't, but for, but, but at least there's this barrel here that takes care of a lot of business for me. And now once uh, things are clear, I can drag Leon through here. And that wasn't too hairy. It was a little hairy, but it wasn't super, super bad. So that was that was nice, right? Make sure you have another flash ready. You might want a couple of flashes for this because this can be a little bit unpredictable, this part. Down here, there's going to be some treasure and there's a rocket man right there where I'm aiming right now. That guy's head didn't go splody and that's because he's going to plaga. You know, naturally, right? Seems like, it seems like it's always when you want to get some place that things start to plaga, right? Yeah, that happens a lot. Watch out for uh, home run over here. You know, baseball bat guy. Right over there is the chest that we want. Make another flash if you need to. You might, you probably will need to at this point, so go ahead and make that flash. Hopefully you've got the resources. If you don't, just, uh, you know, do some artful dodges. And, uh, yeah, that's easier said than done, I know, but... Uh, just try your best. And if you have to retry the segment, I mean, that's fine. But we do want to get that crown. Now over here, watch out for that tripwire. There is a explosion there, so make sure you shoot that before you go inside. In that case, we got a velvet blue, nice. And then around the corner here, there's going to be another barrel we can smack. Okay. We have to loot everything. Don't be shy about looting everything on professional difficulty because we really need those resources. And there's another tripwire here. We can bait these guys, these jabronis right here, in the wa waltzing right into it. And we'll just keep on plugging them until they do it. And boom, there they, there it goes. They did it. That's two free kills right there, son. Pull out riot gun if you need to and take give this guy the business. All right. That was nice. Now circle around here and there's going to be a barrel at the end. Right there. And look at that. More magnum bullets. Man, these are they're really giving us these gifts here. More magnum bullets. You really got to love it. The lockers in here, these got stuff in them. Just go ahead and grab whatever's in them. I don't know if those are static drops or not off the top of my head, but you definitely want to grab whatever's in there. Don't be shy about that. You know what I say. If it's not nailed down, take it as Leon. Leon needs it. Now, once we hit that button, that door's going to be unlocked and we can head on through. This is going to get a little scary because we're going to have to deal re with regenerators in a minute. But first, we have to get past all these jabronis. Now, right there we see Ashley down there, and there's a crate over here. Don't go too ham in here because we're going to want to get some sneak attacks in. Right now, they don't see us. They don't notice us. So right here, just sneak alongside this guy, go behind him, and boom, get that sneak attack. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and easy. All right. And this guy over here, we could probably get him too. Look at that. There was a sneak attack I could have gotten on him. I could have just gone up there and given him, given him the business. Now, if I... I really probably should have, too, because that would have gotten me some nice treasure. But anyway, once you get in here, just have your shotgun ready and, you know... Do what you gotta do to get through this area, and you might not even want to go over into the side room because this is just kind of a dead end with a little box right here. That may be nice. I'm taking a lot of time in here right now, and this is making me a little nervous. I am making a flash, hopefully, to get myself out of here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Uh, looks like I got hit. That that happens a lot. Sometimes you gotta watch out for those guys with the cattle prods and stuff because they will just um, their animations are really unhinged. And when you toss a flash, a lot of times they'll just hit you before the flash goes off. So give yourself some space there. And once you get into the kitchen, there's gonna be a lot of stuff lying around. There's a barrel right there. There's a locker over there. There's a lot of like little nooks and crannies that just have all kinds of things hidden in them. This is kind of a nice area because it's a good place to go looted, get looted. There's even a dumpster over here that's got a nade in it. Now check it out. Boom. Look at that. Nade. That is nice. Now I, I'm just looking around here to see if there's anything else because like even though I played this game, I keep finding new stuff every time I play it. It's, it's really great. Another case right there with a velvet blue in it. Like I say, look around a little bit. You'll be surprised what you find. There's a guy right there coming out of that oven, so just shoot him like once. He'll drop something. Uh, looks like it's pesetas. 
and it's probably in Pesetas all the time, though I don't know. And then that, in that fridge right there is a fishy. And well, of course, you're gonna say no to health. No, no, no. You're not. No, you're not gonna say no to health. Take that fish. Welcome. Honestly, with what we're about to deal with, you're gonna need that fish. Sell the velvet blue. If you want to get a few more velvet blues with any spinals you still have, go ahead. Make sure your body armor is tuned up. You really want that body armor to be full before you go in here, because otherwise this is gonna hurt. This body armor is gonna save your bacon, son. So make sure it is full. And if you don't have a level five power rifle at this point, and a level four or five riot gun, make sure you got that, because if you don't, this is gonna be a little painful. Now, these are locked over here, so there's no sense in going over to these areas yet. We need to go down here. And down here is gonna be a switch that we can flip. And also there's gonna be some crates in here, or well, one crate. Boom, shotty shells. Now flip that switch, and that's gonna turn on power to this area. After you have the power on, we can go explore the area a little bit more, but be on guard because once we explore like the second room, that's when things kind of go off the rails a little bit for this. Don't be too scared though, we can do this. There's a first aid spray right there. Go ahead and grab that and smack open these uh, these cabinets right here. There's some good stuff in there, a red barrel, gunpowder. I mean, you gonna say none of those? No, go ahead and take them, you need them. All right, code here is three, two, and two. Initially, I was wondering what I was doing, but the code there is three, two, two. So that means hit the switch three, excuse me, three times, and then two times for the for the other two. And then go ahead, slide it all the way to the right and hit, you know, confirm again. And there's the key card that we need. So watch out because there's gonna be a regenerator coming in here very shortly. Boom, he's a coming. Now what you wanna do is shoot his leg out from under him. That will keep him from being completely mobile. He'll slither around a lot. It'll be very, very creepy. But just if he if he does jump on you, you have body armor. It's not going to hurt you all that bad. So don't be too scared. Like I say. Now I ran down here to this room. But what you want to do instead of this is go back to that switch that we flipped and flip it back the other way because right now there's no power coming to this room. So yeah, I wasted a little bit of time there. And when this guy comes, shoot his leg out from under him again. That's how we're gonna get under this. You don't have to like go toe to toe with him. Don't try to like take him out and everything. He's gonna take a whole bunch of shots, a whole bunch of rifle. You don't wanna mess with it. Cause this is professional difficulty and you don't need that business. I guess if you wanna like do a 100% thing, I mean, go nuts. He's got treasure if you want it, if you, if you want it, but it's not worth it. So anyway, once you have this, the switch flipped, go back into this room. We're going into the freezer. Okay. Now see the power's on, we can open it. And we don't have to bother with that door over there. So don't worry about the code for that. Now here, hit this and take the rifle ammo that's in there. That's nice to have, absolutely. Put your key card in that. And when we do, we're gonna have to wait it out. Ooh, and while that's happening, this guy's gonna burst out of a bag. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing and shoot out the leg from under him. Again? Give him the business and run past him and hide behind this body bag over here. Now wait for him to slide. And when he jumps at it, he will hit the bag. Now go over to the other side of the room on the same side and hide behind the bag. And he'll jump and hit the bag. Now run past him and just Rinse and repeat, although he will grow his leg back, so be sure you shoot that leg out again. So once that happens, look at that, you're good. The key card should be finished after like two passes from the big guy here, so just get that key card, and once it's ready, get out of there. Now, you wanna hang a right here once you're out of that room. Now there may be another regenerator out here, just shoot the leg again, and run past. And then go to the store down here, use your new key card, and boom, you're out of here. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? No, not that bad. Pretty simple area, all things considered. Now, be sure you hit the crates in here, and watch yourself, because there's going to be some jabronis down here that we're going to have to give the business to. Now, that guy right there, just uh, use your rifle and use your rifle and pop off a headshot. Boom. Look at that. He ain't got no helmet on. Safety first, buddy boy. You know what I'm saying? That's right. 
This guy here, he was smart. He wore a helmet. Of course, I knocked it clean off, so I guess a fat lot of good it did him. And boom, he just lost his head too. Somebody get these guys some aspirins. That's right. Uh, you can use the pause buff buffer on these guys if you don't want to use it. I mean, go nuts. It's, it's your video game. Play it the way you want. But the enemies on Professional do get pretty twitchy, so I recommend using a pause buffer occasionally. This guy has a helmet. So I recommend getting out the riot gun and using the shotgun close range and just, you know, doing some math, we'll say. Math is power. In these containers over here, there's going to be a little, there's going to be a few things. There's gunpowder right there. There was some machine gun, gun ammo in the one. There was uh, an herb over there too. And these ca cases too, there's also more stuff. So, I mean, go ahead, take more. In this case here, rifle ammo. Just look around, look in the cases. And if you see some, go ahead and knock it open. Like this over here, look at this herb. Nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and combine some herbs, man, because we are getting looted. This is heavenly. Like, right now, I've got enough that I am going to focus on Magnum ammo. Again, we want to focus on Magnum ammo. Submachine gun ammo is useful, even if we don't have a submachine gun, because guess what? We can sell it. Look at this. We now have a full herb. That's nice. Look at that, dude. Now, in here, we're going to get the biosensor scope, so get yourself ready. We've got a little bit of risky business we got to get ourselves up to. We are so looted right now that we barely have any space, and honestly, that's a good place to be. Make sure you've got the biosensor scope equipped. Go ahead and get these crates here and loot them. Now, what you need to do is use that biosensor scope to look at each of these regenerators in the tubes, and you're looking for the one that's got a wrench in him. And there he is. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to be that blue outline there. And what you want to do is line up the hearts so that you get two of them in one shot. And then you're going to go ahead and take that shot. Now, immediately get yourself in this room over here and start aiming up again. This, this regenerator is going to sprint at you. And use that pause buffer to get a bead on his other hearts. And look how nice and easy that fight was. That was a good, clean, fast fight. Didn't need to mess with anything there, hardly. He didn't even get in the window that was so fast. If you get it that fast, congrats. That means you're a total boss. Now put the key card in here after you use the wrench. And these guys are going to start coming in here. Just hide in this room. There's going to be a guy out there throwing dynamite. They're going to try to bait you out. They're, some of the dynamite might even free the regenerators. If that happens, then wait for the regenerator to start climbing through the window. And if he does climb through the window, then you can hop out the window and just cycle around. Make some flashes if you need to, if that happens. But since that isn't really happening here, I'm just going to keep using shotgun when these guys enter the room and knock them down. What I want to do is just wait out the time until I get my key card. And that dynamite should not be a problem. Fortunately, I got out of there just as he was tossing a dynamite inside the window. And now that I have my key card, I can just get out of here. Straight out the door, let's leave. Use the key card, open that gate, and let's get out of here, dude. And that's just about the end of chapter 13 at this point. There's a crate right here we can get. Yeah. There is another crate over to the left over there that's on that shelf. We should go ahead and knock that, and that's just more pesetas for us. Pretty pleased with the cherry on top. And now we've got everything we need to go get Ashley. So, there it is, guys. Nice. Now, once we get to this area, that will finish the chapter. We are not going to save yet. We are not going to save quite yet. We are going to save soon. But you don't want to save in Chapter 13. You want to save in Chapter 14. We're going to have two saves in this chapter. In this room, there's going to be some stuff that we loot. There's a crystal ore that's going to be useful to sell. There's also some crates that we can hit. And then also, there's these cases here that we might want to check out. I don't think there's anything in them, but I wanted to take a look and see if maybe there was some treasure. There's also a crate there on that cart. And also there's this. It's a whole lot of stuff just lying around all over the place. Like, you really gotta look around, otherwise you're gonna miss a lot of nice things. Now over here, you gotta help Ashley through that, so that she can open the gate for you. Duh. I tried to just open it myself, which was Be a careful. little bit silly. But while she's doing that, Go ahead and open those, that locker. Get that stuff. She 
she'll take her sweet time, but she'll get it open eventually. Once you're in here, loot everything again. There's crates there, barrel there. Like I say, there's a surprising amount of stuff and you need it all. And right here is the merchant. Now we are gonna loot this area first. There's a crate there and there's a locker over against the wall. I'm just kind of looking around here to see if there's anything I miss because, you know, as many times as I play this, Welcome. sometimes you just miss things. Sell everything that isn't the elegant crown or the I'll extravagant clock. We probably want to hold on to those for right now just to see if maybe we can get a few more pieces of treasure in the meantime. Well and also I sell the submachine gun stuff because we don't have any of that. And what I do here is I upgrade my riot gun's power to level 5 because believe you me we're gonna need that level 5. Hopefully you would have done it already but if you haven't now's a pretty good time to do it. I go ahead and play around with my treasure here because I'm having a hard time deciding what I want to do and I need a little bit more like cash to make things happen so I combine the ruby and the red barrel with the extravagant clock and sell that and I repair my knife as well as my my vest. And then I also this add a rate of fire to my to my black tail. When you play this, you want to prioritize power, followed by rate of fire, followed by reload speed, as well as ammo capacity. Rate of fire and well, power is the most important factor, followed by rate of fire. Go ahead and save at the merchant. Because this area is going to get pretty hairy. This is not an easy area, and there's a lot that can go wrong. And Ashley is very prone to getting grabbed, guys. In the dumpster here is a gold bangle. You probably want that. That's nice treasure. That's money. And over here is a couple of crates with some pesetas. Uh, well, they might not be pesetas when you hit them. It's total RNG most of the time. Now, these guys here... That guy there, these guys are going to be a problem because they're going to rush in as we're trying to go do stuff. And go. honestly, you might even just want to throw a nade here. Do what you got to do. You might want to go ahead and just, you know, put them on ice. Like, look at this. Like, Ashley is just so prone to be getting grabbed here. She, I'm pretty sure I was in close formation there and she still wasn't following me. She has a real bad habit of not wanting to follow you in this in this part. So be aware of that and be on guard because this is, this is going to get real, real messy, guys. What you have to do is you have to get her up here and you need her to hold open that switch. And here there's a locker with some gunpowder, there's handgun bullets. And these guys are in hot pursuit. You might want to just like give these guys the business and take care, take care of them. Like right there, I gave them both the business. And if you can get her to hold open that switch long enough, that is going to give you the window that you need to go in here, unlock the door. And what you're going to want to do is watch yourself here because they're going to try to bring her down here and there's a door that they can go into that will end the game. So be very, very careful there. I accidentally fired a shot there. I didn't mean to. I meant to throw a nade. Fortunately, I still have herbs that I can use. And meanwhile, I go and I just give these guys the business I just uh, take what take out whatever I can in the meantime I even throw a heavy heavy nade at them because they're getting a little unhinged this guy over here I don't know where he's supposed to go you know what's funny what's funny is I say that there's a room that these guys go into but I actually don't know what it's supposed to be because I have had Ashley get carried out of here before, and I don't even know how it happened. Because it was like the guy was carrying her against a wall or something, and it was just totally random. Like, I, I, I don't know. Strange things happen in RE4 Remake. But anyway, coming through here, just throw a flash, and you know, if, you, if you run into some risky business here, get your riot gun ready or throw a nade if you have it and then get through this door. If you can get through this door, Ashley should be able to follow you. If you can get through this door, Ashley should follow you inside and they should not grab her. They should mostly de-aggro. Well, they should just de-aggro. Smells pretty bad. 
Okay. Just be aware that that section we were in down there is a total mess. And be on your guard, have lots of flashes, and just be prepared to take out a lot of guys. There's an emerald over in the corner behind those pipes. Just a FYI there. You might want that for your one of your elegant crowns. Now this part... What you want to do is you want to hit the confirm a little earlier than you think you should because it doesn't stop on a dime. Wait here. There's quite a delay on it, so I would hit it probably at the 25% mark when it's passing by, and by the time it stops, it should be right on the marker. Just uh, give it a few tries on your own and see how you do with it. But you'll get it eventually, It's just it just takes a little bit. And don't feel bad if you don't get it on the first time. Now this guy here, watch yourself here. And if you can hit a couple of hearts there while he's coming, go ahead and do them. Now, I was unable to hit multiple hearts while he was on the ground. And this is a good point to use our pause buffer because this part can be pretty miserable, guys. Now, I was kind of hoping I could get more than... I was, I was kind of hoping I'd get those hearts lined up. Now, that takes care of the first phase. This guy's going to turn into an Iron Maiden. What the fuck? So, and he's also going to sprint very, very quickly. For some reason, Ashley came barreling out of the locker. I guess I must have hit the button when she was... I must have hit the button when I was getting Leon ready to start running. I don't, I don't remember hitting the button, but it must have happened. But anyway, just keep her in the locker, otherwise it's just going to get real messy real fast. Do not call her during this fight. So, you can do a couple of things here. You can try to get a bead on his head here, which I I do not have good luck with. I have had better luck using a shotgun on the head. And you may want to do that here. You may want to just go ahead and, if you have shotgun ammo, create shotgun ammo. But if you don't have shotgun ammo, just keep trying to get a bead on that head. And when he slows down, eventually, whenever that is, because look at the speed on him. The speed is absolutely unhinged. I decided to make shotgun ammo because, like, he's just such a hassle at this point. And when he comes, I don't want to get too close to him, but I want to shotgun the head because that's where the weak point is. And I thought that would do the trick, but it did not quite do the trick. But for some reason, that did the trick. I have no idea why the second one did the trick and not the first one, but it did. And for our trouble, we get a red barrel. So, you know, that, that's pretty cool. We were able to put a lot of nice gems in our crown now. Okay. Come to think of it, we probably should have kept the other red barrel. But hey, it is what it is. Anyway, running back through here. There's a couple of crates right there. Obviously, you want to give them a good smack -a -rooney. This section is going to get pretty hairy, too. But fortunately, there's a method to get through this. The first time you ever play this part, it seems like it's just absolutely impossible. But, 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 there is a systematic way to take care of it that will take all the stress out of it, believe me. And what you'll need is supplies enough for a f one flash. That will do the trick for you. And also, you'll need to have mastered the pause buffer for this part. And if you don't have a handle on the pause buffer, I really recommend you get a handle on it because it's going to help you out a lot during this. Now, be sure you loot the area. There's a lot of nice stuff in this area. Don't hit any switches or anything until you loot this area. There's also a regenerator in that pile to the left there. I don't know if you saw him, but he's there. He's not going to come to life yet, so don't worry about it yet. But there's herb, there's herbs there, there's stuff in piles of trash over to the side. There's a cabinet over here with some stuff. Look at that rifle ammo. We're getting a lot of nice stuff, guys. Now, we're gonna look look right in there. We're gonna be firing through the bars like this. Once we hit this switch, there's gonna be a bunch of guys that are gonna come running in here. And we're gonna use the pause buffer to get a bead on their heads. Now look at this right here. We got one, that's pretty good. Now line it up. This guy's stunned a little bit. Good. If it, the more he stays stunned, the better it is, honestly. And just keep lining up those headshots and keep keep knocking them out. Now this guy, this guy, this guy almost got through. Almost. See, what happened there was not great. As a matter of fact, he did get through to Ashley. 
But fortunately, we're not in too much of we're not too, in too much of an issue yet, because I was able to take out, I was able to stun him a little bit by hitting him in the butt, and I was able to get a shot from the back. So it was not 100% clean, but overall it could have been a lot worse. There's also a fishy over there. I missed the fishy. Now over here, what's going to happen is we're going to hit this regenerator, and then there's going to be another another guy is going to come through. So just hit one of the hearts on him, and then aim here, and go ahead and hit this guy as he's coming, because this is the final one that we're going to have to deal with. Boom. Now get your flash ready, because if yeah, you can fight this guy, but really it's not worth it. Okay, that gives us enough time to run back to Ashley. Don't bother trying to fight the regenerator. It's not worth it. Just go. Go, go, go. Forget about him. Really. He's not worth it, man. What's going to happen if you try to fight him is you're just going to... You're just going to waste a bunch of resources. Let Ashley drop him. Okay. And that's way easier. Now, go ahead and run back here and grab all this treasure. Look at that. 800 Thanks. pesetas, 800, 600 pesetas apiece for our troubles, which, honestly, that feels like it's on the low end, but still, hey, it's better than no pesetas at all, right? <laughs> now, over here, the code is 2, 1, 2, and 1. That's good. Actually, I believe the code is 2102. Two one zero two. In here, be sure you shotgun these monsters. I forget what they're called, but they're just a bunch of Plaga monsters. Take care of them. Copy exactly what I did for that code back there, guys. I believe it's 2102, but if, if, I, if I was wrong about that, be sure you just copy what I did. I'm pretty sure it's two one zero two. I don't want to lead you astray, but if I was if I if I counted wrong on that, just be sure that you do exactly what I did. We like our herbs, we do. Heal a man, kill a man, they do it all. <laughs> now for this next section, guys. For this next section, what you wanna do is make sure you have three heavy nades. Technically, you'll probably only need two, but have three. Just in case you mess it up a little bit. And right now, it looks like we got four, so we're in a pretty good spot because we, we, we picked up a heavy nade. That doesn't happen all the time. Now, Ashley's going to be able to do a little bit of work here, but she needs a helping hand, and we give her that helping hand by tossing nades at the wall. Be sure you get these crates over here. And once you're ready, go ahead and interact with this crane here. This wrecking ball, she will control it. Now get your heavy nades ready. Go ahead at these crates right here. I mean, go ahead, why not? Watch out, don't let her like swing the ball into you. Now toss the nades, the heavy nades at the wall. Look at that. Toss another one at the wall. And that should give us a, little, a lot of leeway there. Now, you want to watch out for dynamite. Okay, that didn't quite do the trick, so toss another heavy nade. And that should do it. That should make the wall weak enough. <laughs> you gotta love how she exploded the barrel there. That was great. And then you gotta love how that guy blew himself up. Just, you know, defend yourself a little bit while she's getting the ball here. It's only gonna take another one. It will only take maybe one or two swings to do this, provided that you toss enough nade at the wall. I really thought two would do it, but three is a good safe number. Make sure you come in with three, like I said. Hit the switch in here. Once we do that, the enemies will stop spawning. And all we'll have left is the guys that were already there. 
And there is quite a few of them, so you know, don't 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 get too complacent. And if one of them gets like too close to you, just go ahead and uh, you know give them the business. Otherwise, just run around these guys. Woo! Look at that. That was silly. Just dodging these guys all left. I think it's taking long. This thing is taking forever. Of course, Ashley just has to get one hit one last time there. You know. <laughs> Anyway, just uh, dodge around them, take them down, however you want to do it. I think you might have found your calling. Point is, stay alive long enough for the lift to come down, and then use the lift. I was thinking, we work well together, don't we? I guess so. Right? Maybe someday I'll become an agent like you. What do you think? We could protect the U.S. from any and all threats. Is that right? This Either is way, gonna. First, we have to make it out of here. No fun. This is effectively going to take us to a section that is one of the harder sections in the game. Uh, <laughs> it's not exactly going to be a cakewalk, we'll put it that way. Make sure you get the crates in here. Grab all the supplies. There's a couple of crates there. There's a barrel here. Make sure you get it all, dude. And once you get in here, there's going to be a few things lying around. Well, actually, there's not going to be that much now that I think about it. It's mostly seeing the sights and stuff, but there is going to be a piece of treasure we can grab. Not quite yet, though. What I'm doing here is just looking around to see if there was anything. There's a couple of crates right there, this yellow herb. There's the stuff that's lying around. That's nice. There should be a piece of treasure over in here. I don't think it appears quite yet. I think it appears after the cutscene. So, oh wait, there it is. Never mind. So it's set, it's set on top of that crate. So go ahead and grab that crystal ore. I couldn't remember if it was before or after the cutscene. It is before the cutscene. Get the crates, get the herb, get the ore. Now, once we come in here, you want to go right because there's going to be this guy who's going to be crouched down. Just stealth attack him. Boom. And then over to behind him, there's going to be a couple of crates. You want to get those. Get yourself nice and looted, guys. Stay looted. There's also gonna be... There's also gonna be some lockers. And there's gonna be more crates. You're picking up a lot of stuff here. You might want to start making some... Crafting some stuff, guys. Might want to make a flash. Might want to... If you can make magnum ammo. You should make magnum ammo at this point. If you have the resources for it. Focus on magnum right now. If you can. If you can't... If you can't... Then make shotgun. And if you can't make shotgun, then make flashes. Because those are all going to help you a lot during the upcoming section. Now, over here, there's a couple of barrels, obviously. Go ahead and take that. But also, there's some enemies over here. They're all gathered around a campfire. Toss a nade at them, if you have one. Odds are you probably have one at this point. I'll be surprised if you don't have a handful of nades. Just get them out of the way. Do not mess around with them. Remember, the enemies in this part are pretty tough. But they can't stand up to, to you if you have enough supplies. Now, also go into the tent there and grab that treasure. There's a gold ingot right there that obviously you want. And then any other barrels, boxes, stuff. Go ahead, just search the area and smack those. Just... More crates over here. They're dropping you a lot of stuff. They gave you they gave you more magnum memo. I mean, yes, please. Over in here, there's going to be a first aid spray on that shelf. There's not really too much in here other than that. Now, we are coming on to the Krauser portion. So get yourself mentally prepared for this. Uh, this is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. Obviously, you want to make flashes for this part, really. Make, make a couple of flashes. Pick up more stuff. If right now we've got some good loot. We've got a lot of good loot here. This is good. And whatever you can craft, go ahead and craft. If you can't craft anything, I guess leave it behind. Because we are gathering a lot of supplies right now. We've got so much resources and so few gunpowder. It's a little tragic. But now that we're here at the merchant... We want to, if you, we want to sell the ore, we want to sell the gold bar. If we have the jewels, we want to fill out the ornate necklace as well as the elegant crown. 
Now, at this point in the game, you might not have the jewels, which is fine. Just do the best you can with what you have to work with, and then we'll sell whatever we have to sell, right? Just gather as much as we can here. We need to repair our body armor. We need a rocket launcher. So that's pretty much it. The submachine gun ammo, we don't need any of that. Go ahead and sell it. Absolutely unnecessary. And I'm going to sell my blacktail here. Because I need the pesetas and I need that rocket launcher. I need it now. And I still don't have enough room for the rocket launcher. Unfortunately. So, what I am going to do here... I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I want to heal first off. That well, might create a little bit more space. Something new for you, mate. And I still don't have the space after that. You like, I have the pace of this, but I still don't have enough space. It's, uh, pretty it's, it's pretty hilarious. I'll buy I decide to buy a bigger case because I no longer have the capacity for what I need. And what I do here is I decide I'm going to fill out at least one of these necklaces. I'm going to fill out this necklace a little bit. And that way I'm going to be able to at least do something with it. What else is there really to do here? Because we need we need some we need some pesetas. You can fill in the necklace or you can fill in the crown. It's really up to you. Ultimately, I decide to put different color jewels in the crown. And then ultimately I decide to Welcome. Ooh, put the other emerald in the elegant crown as well and sell these off so I have the pesetas. If you have more jewels, you can do that. Like I say, you might not have what you need, but after you buy the larger case, you will probably have the space for your rocket launcher, but you have to have rocket launcher for this part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair my knife as well as my vest, and then I kind of want to buy back my blacktail right now. I want my blacktail because I need a very basic pocket? item to shoot with. Anything will come. I have so many large resources right now that I just decided to discard one. Right there, I was trying to figure out, man, what am I going to do here? Because I, I have so many weapons here. I have so little space. I got all these large resources and nothing to do with them because I don't have enough gunpowder, right? Sometimes that happens. And sometimes you got to make some hard choices. Sometimes, sometimes that means throwing things away. Sometimes that means buying a larger case whatever you gotta do to get all the weapons you need you need rocket launch for this part and you need a handgun just to help yourself through it now the most important weapon here is gonna be a sniper rifle aim at krauser and before this fight be sure you save you absolutely want to save before you go and fight krauser because this is one of the hardest areas in the game guys this is probably the hardest area in the entire game in my opinion I would say that this, yeah, this, this, this is going to test your willpower and patience because you have to do this all in one go. Now, once he comes over here, after you get those shots in with your rifle, you want to get out your Magnum. And if you, if he decides to, you know, get up in your business, try and get a shot off on him. But ideally, when he's standing still, go ahead and hit him. And if he comes up to you, be sure you parry. If he decides to go and... If he decides to hop up again, be sure you take cover. And then when you... When you have an opening after he stops firing, go ahead and use your magnum again. And use the magnum... Whenever he's standing still, use the magnum. On the wall there is the rhinoceros beetle. Who knows what's become of the girl? Every so often, well, what happens when he jumps down is, like, he'll dart around a little bit. He'll dart around, like, twice, and then he'll 
stand still for a second. And that's when you want to open fire on him is when he's standing still. Up here is going to be a crate as well as an herb. Once you're ready, turn the wheel and let's go. Now, you're going to want to get your handgun ready for the next part. And you're also going to want to get your shotgun ready. One of the most important things here is you want to try to avoid hand-to-hand -hand combat with Krauser if possible. Get your handgun out here, the black tail, and shoot this laser. Okay, now get shotgun ready. Go over into this nook and wait. Aim the shotgun out here. Krauser's going to drop, hit him. When he drops, immediately fire and then he'll go away. When he throws the flash, at least in these beginning parts, that means he's ready to get out of there. He's ready to leave you alone. Now here, hug the left wall. If you want, go ahead and knife the bear trap, but hug the left wall, and you'll avoid the arrow right there. Good job. Okay, now get out their black tail again. Right now I'm registering my rocket launcher to a shortcut, and I'm registering my black tail to a different shortcut. And I recommend doing whatever you feel more comfortable with on shortcuts. There is a turret up here that you want to hit. And there's another turret over here that you want to hit too. Make sure you hit those or else you're going to get cheesed. There's also a bear trap on the right side over here. So watch out for that. I forgot about that one when I was going through here. But watch out for it. And over here, there's a laser right there. Go ahead and run back the other way. I could have just shot the laser from the left side, but I shot it from this side instead. So, whichever way you feel better doing, go ahead and do it. This way's fine. Now, knife the bear trap and watch out for this turret. Shoot that one. And then, go around, but stop short. There's going to be a rocket there. He's going to fire one of his explosive arrows. Do not go through there as he's firing it, or else it will hurt. Up here is going to be a couple of crates. There's a red herb right there. There's also, of course, the crate that you want to hit. And go ahead and combine herbs if you have them. There's also another crate over here in this corner. Now with that, let's go upstairs because we're ready for another very challenging section. Now here, Krauser's going to be on the other end of the map. He's going to be up there on that wall. Now watch out and move because don't stick around too long because he's going to fire his explosive arrows. Like case in point. You want to try to hit him. You want to try to hit him twice. And if you can hit him twice, if you can hit him twice, he'll go away. As always, you want to try to aim for the head, but uh, really, just do the best you can here. It is hard to get a beat on him, admittedly. I got, I got hit on him twice there. That's not enough, I don't think. If you hit him with two headshots, that'll take care of him. But you want to try to just... You know, get a couple of rounds in, and once he's good and ready, he'll go away. And you can just kind of cruise throughout the map. It looks like he's more or less done here. Not quite yet. Nope. He's going to take one more. And he's going to take another. Okay. We don't really have any more body armor right now, which is a little bit inconvenient. But that should be enough to get him out of the way. Do your best here and hit him with the sniper rifle. Now that we've done that, we can just cruise on through this section without too much stress. What will happen if you don't do that is you'll have to like hug these walls and uh, he'll fire his explosive arrows and it'll just, it'll be a lot harder than it needs to be. Once you get up here, uh, he'll, he'll pop up, but you can just back away after he tosses his nades. Like right there. Just back away. He'll toss those heavy nades. You don't want to mess around with that. Just stay away. Now, hit that crate there, and we're about ready for what, what we're going to do here. Get the Killer 7 ready. We've got 14 rounds. Hopefully that'll be enough. <laughs> Hopefully, right? Yeah, I know. Get your stuff ready. Hopefully you have some body armor, too. I didn't have any body armor here. It's a little bit of an issue, but anyway... He's going to shoot a bunch there. Go ahead and hit him with a, the Killer 7. Back away from the nades. 
He's gonna cheap shot you with a with his SMG nonsense. Just fire off as many killer seven shots as you can. If he gets up in your business, then parry. Powering is easier said than done, and also remember to evade. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Just when when he gets up in your business, don't don't melee him. Just magnum him, magnum, magnum, magnum. The more magnum you can hit him with, the better. If you get too far away from him, he'll just start cheesing you. And if once he jumps up, hide behind the pillar. I mean, try to keep yourself healed up too, because he'll, he'll cheese you with this stuff a lot. It's a very, this is a very cheap fight. You're really doing this? But don't be afraid to cheese him right back. Like I say, hit him with that magnum, dude, and watch out every time he does that flash, because that means he's gonna do a sneak attack that's really cheap too. Luckily, we're luckily we're able to get past a lot of this nonsense. Okay, that stunned him good. Now hit him with more magnum. Okay, that was good. Looks like we got it. Looks like we got him pretty good. Now he's running away. We hit him with just enough Magnum. So he's in his final. He's in his final phase right now. So this is going to be not that bad. We still got a couple of heals on us, I think. And once he comes here, you can hit him with Magnum. You can also parry, like I did there. That's your true power. Oh, I did. Mostly you just want to try to avoid him. You can also, yeah, just try to avoid him here. Which is easier said than done. He doesn't really pop up except for a couple of scripted segments. And if he does pop up, just try to power his attack. If you don't power it, make sure you got a heal on hand. Okay, here it comes. You want to, it's a good idea, I found, to have a flash ready for that segment. Because if you toss it while it jumps down and then roll, he'll get stunned and he won't be able to like get a cheap shot in on you. So that's very nice. Now get rocket ready because as soon as we crawl down with this ladder, this is where the boss fight is. This is the final part of chapter 14. Pat yourself on the back because this one is not easy, guys. And you deserve this. Evade and then turn and then rocket. And then, boom, end of fight. Good job. Now, Leon is going to be in rough shape after that because he was in close proximity when he fired the rocket. So, you're probably going to have to heal after that, but you still did an awesome job. You took Krauser out. No sense in working hard on this because, you know what? He's going to cheese you. He's been cheesing you this entire time. He deserves to be cheesed right back. The satisfaction of hitting him with a rocket... Just, mmm, it tastes good. Remember, if the game cheeses you, just, you cheese it back, dude. Don't feel the least bit bad. And that's the end of chapter 14, guys. Not an easy chapter. Really, really tough chapter. This is going to be a tough chapter, too. And we've got one last save that we can play around with here. But, I think we can do it. I think we can pull this off. If you're feeling a little bit scared about it, I don't blame you. This is not an easy thing to do, but we have to do this. So go ahead and hit all the crates that you find and then jump down here. And we're about to enter. Whoo, boy, this is going to be a heck of a section. Talk to the merchant here. Sell off that rhinoceros beetle. And I recommend... I recommend repairing your armor again for this part. I recommend just improving whatever you're able to improve. Get that black tail up to up to snuff. Maybe reclaim a couple of velvet blues here. Get a little bit of pesetas for yourself. And then bring that body armor back up to snuff. Cool. Now, this is going to be our last save of the game. We're going to save right here. And we're saving because this part is really, really hard. This is not an easy part at all. But I think we're going to get... I think we're going to be able to get past it. And if you don't, hey, you have a save at this point. You've been doing a great job. 
Now, watch out for these guys over here. There's going to be a Rocket Man right here. We're going to try to take out Rocket Man. Of course, easier said than done. Now, I did take a couple of bullets out there. If you can take out Rocket Man, go ahead. But eventually, when we start taking hits, Mike is going to fly in. And Mike is that chopper that Hunnigan ordered. He finally arrived, and he's ready to help you out. All right. In the meantime, let's just take out a couple of these guys. Get them out of the way. That'll save us a lot of grief. And this guy over here, you know, go ahead, give him the business. Why not? Sometimes, well, I tried to give him the business. Boy, some business. Well, Mike took care of him for me. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> oh, you gotta love Mike. Get the loot in the area. There's a couple of crates inside the house. Go ahead and get those. There's a crate over on the side over there. There's also a ladder on the back of this place. Get out your shotgun and get these guys out of your way. Now go up the ladder. And off to the left, there's going to be a, a couple of crates over here that you can get. There's going to have more loot in there. Up here, there is a turret. You can start hitting the guys that come out of this cave. Sometimes they come out of there like sooner than other times. Here they are kind of lingering. They're, they didn't really want to come out all that badly. Watch out for these guys. These guys will follow you up here. And they came a lot sooner than I thought they would, honestly. I did not expect them to be up here so soon. I barely had any time to use that turret. And usually you have quite a bit of time to play around with it. This is a real chaotic section, guys. So, uh, you know, if you miss a shot, don't feel bad. Try to let Mike take care of most of the work. Yeah. Mike will start firing eventually, but you do have to defend yourself a little bit. You can't let Mike handle everything because Mike is not infallible. But once you have enough guys taken care of here, he'll blow, he'll blow a hole in the wall. And that's when you want to run on through. Anything left over, go ahead and grab it before you go. And you want to get one heavy nade ready as well as one regular nade. I decided I wanted to go grab some more loot before I headed on through. Because I figured, well, I might need some of that. Although I did leave some pesetas over there. I, do, I guess I didn't notice them. It's weird. Hmm. You know, sometimes you miss things during the chaotic battle to... This part, there's going to be a bunch of guys over here. There's going to be a rocket man and stuff, but you really don't have to do anything. Like, they'll start shooting, but Mike takes care of them pretty much immediately. Sometimes. Sometimes it takes him a second. I don't know. Mike sometimes has a hard time deciding what he wants to do. But, yeah, eventually he does take care of them, and you can just mosey on through there. Any, any guys that are left, just go ahead and, like, take them out. For some reason, I couldn't get a beat on those guys. I don't know. I think at this point, I was just... Uh, <laughs> kind of fatigued from the island. The island is a very hard level. It's a very hard game to play. The island part of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Very, very stressful. So if you're feeling a little bit of fatigue at this point, I don't blame you. Now, when you, once you climb up that ladder over to the side here, there's a couple more barrels. There's an herb. You're probably wanna, gonna wanna grab some of that. Get your heavy nade ready now. This is what we wanted to get the heavy nade and the light nade ready for. Toss one heavy nade up on this platform. Toss a light nade. And that takes care of the problem. Mike should have no more issues. Now watch out for Rocket Man over there and just knock Rocket Man back. Matter of fact, if you wanna take him out, I mean, go nuts. Okay, Rocket Man's down. Now, there is going to be a turret guy up here that's going to try and hit you. And you want to just be careful. 
Don't get hit by turret guy. There will be some jabronis that come at you. Go ahead and give them the business. Mike might start shooting too. So uh, don't don't count on them for too much help here. You want to defend yourself, but also you know be aware that Mike might join in and just help you out a little bit. Like like so. Sometimes Mike just does that. Sometimes he just backs you up. Sometimes he fin lets you fend for yourself. It's crazy how that happens. Like the gunfire that he has is absolutely nuts. <laughs> It demolishes everything in his path. It's kind of great. I kind of wish he would stick with me for the entirety of this. For this part, you have to fend for yourself, though. He runs out of ammo here, and now you're going to want to craft a whole bunch of flashes. Otherwise, this is going to be very, very hard. And it's going to be very, very hard regardless, but just craft as many flashes as you can. Just as many as you can. And right now I've got five of them, so toss flash right now. Once you get up to the top of those stairs. And then I'm gonna run over to the left here. There is a red herb on top of that crate, or, well, that, uh, yeah, crate, I guess. Basket, whatever it is. And then off to the side here, there's this guy. I'm gonna combine my herbs. Shotgun this guy, get him out of the way. There's more shotgun shells over here. Now, any more guys to come up here, just try to keep them clear. There's going to be a lot of guys coming through here, so be aware of that. You might even want to flash your way through here. Now, go ahead and take out the turret guy. And if you can hit any other guys in the meantime, go ahead and take them down. Like, the fewer guys you have to deal with, the better. You've got... You don't have unlimited bullets on the turret, so just hit whatever you can and then move on with life. And try to get try to get the area clear. There's like I say, there's gonna be a lot of guys here. This is a very chaotic section. If you need to throw a flash down, and hopefully you have enough for all the flashes that you need. Half a dozen flashes should be good for this part. Stun these guys and run over to the ladder on this building over here. Try to get yourself up here and get shotgun ready. Now, this is pretty scary because this guy kind of just ran right in there, but oh, ideally... And that, that's just great. That's just great right there. Like, that... that Just... Why did it have to be that way, right? <laughs> These things just running right in here with me. That's great. That's awesome. Love it. Okay, so what I do here is, because I toss that flash, I go and hit this switch, and... This is pretty crazy what's happening right now. This is, uh... Not exactly what I had in mind, but it'll have to do, I guess. Uh, toss another flash here, and let's see if we can get the hell out of here. Hopefully, if we toss that last flash, we can just jump over the rail, and we can get the hell out of here. Luckily, they played nicely, and we could just get out of here. We should look at that. Sometimes it's great when that works. Now, hug the right wall as you're going through there, because there's going to be the brute trying to shoot at you. But if you hug the right wall as you're turning corners, he's not going to be able to hit you, and it's going to make life a lot easier for you. Yeah. FYI. Thanks. When we get out of here, drinks are on me. I know a good mom. Congratulations. That's one of the hardest sections of the game right there, too. I'll make sure you're now, immediately, after we go up here, we're going to have all these bugs coming at us. Now get shotgun ready, and hopefully you've got shotgun shells. If you don't, pull out your black tail, and just hit what you can, and stun them, and run past here into this corridor, so that you have a little bit of breathing room. Be careful here, because, like, they can gang up on you, and once you have them taken down, you can go smack these crates right here, and get yourself some stuff. Nice. Shotgun shells. There's also a little hole in the ground here, and if we run through here, we can get ourselves some more treasure. Just run all the way down here. This is kind of out of the way, but, you know, hey, treasure. Open the chest, and check this out. There is a staff of royalty here. I mean, you know, why not, right? Go ahead and take it, guys. Anything to get ourselves some upgrades. We don't really need that much, I don't think. 
I mean, it's, it's not necessarily about upgrades at this point. It's more about, well, I guess we do need some upgrades for like this last part, but it's more about just being able to afford a rocket launcher at this point. Because we're going to use a rocket launcher on Sadler. Now smack the box over here. Shotgun shells. And we should be pretty good to go through here. Yeah, everything should be pretty clear. Now watch out for these bags right here. Let's crouch down and hug the wall there. Do not go through the middle. Do not touch the middle. Do not hit it. Do not nudge that bag. Because that bag has a regenerator in it. This room can be very dangerous if you just run through it all willy-nilly. There's a splendid bangle in this chest over here in this room. Use your biosensor scope to see where the regenerators are. They will be in the same spot every time, but use it to help yourself realize where they are. There's only two of them in here, so you don't have to worry too much, but be aware. There's one right there, and you don't want to go for that box over there, or else you're going to wake them up, and it's going to be real, real miserable for you. Don't do it. Now knock the box over here. There's a snake in that one box, so be sure you hit it twice. Okay. Now run around, hug the wall. Hug the wall. Again, don't knock that box in the middle, and go over here and turn the wheel. Those two boxes there, leave them alone. Don't touch them. Otherwise, we're going to wake up the regenerator. We don't want that. Now, hug the wall again, running through here. Keep hugging the wall. Keep hugging it. Go up the stairs and roll on through. Boom. First try. Nice. Those boxes right there. Take that heavy nade. Excuse me. Take that heavy nade. Take the pesetas. Let's go to the merchant and sell some stuff. Staff of royalty. Let's get rid of that. And let's fix the body armor. Now, let's check out all of our upgrades here. We're going to... What I think we'll, what we might do. Uh, I'm going to want Flash for this next part. That would be a very, very good idea. I think what I'm going to do here is maybe... Welcome. Maybe I'm going to buy some more resources. You can buy, you can buy a handful Anything more resources from the merchant. And that'll help us make a few more nades in the meantime. Or maybe just one nade. But point is, we've got more large resources now. And we can also upgrade our black tail by one, which will help a lot. And we can upgrade the rate of fire. We can even upgrade uh, reload speed or ammo capacity if we want to. That's it's your call here, but... Having a nice black tail for this next part could help a lot. This is really the final quote-unquote real section of the game and if you want to just re cash in all your spinels go ahead and then sell all those Bella blues and they'll notice quite a few pesetas repair the knife if you want to or you know increase the ammo capacity I'm gonna increase the rate of fire on my shotgun too I think good 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 all right, we're ready for this next part. This is uh, going to get pretty hairy. There is a bug right here. Shoot him. Pretty much every enemy type in the game is out here, it seems like, except for, like, the monks. Now, get that flash ready, too. we got three flashes to get through here. That doesn't seem like a lot. Hitting that barrel there will take out another bug. That's good stuff right there. Actually, it didn't take him out. He's still alive. I'm kind of surprised there. Like, that should have taken him out. Well, sometimes stuff like that just happens, so watch out for this guy. Take cover, watch out for the bugs here. Keep an eye out on them while the brute is doing his thing. Make sure you're in cover. And if you're ready, just uh, run past him. Run past him a little bit. Hopefully he won't hit you all that much. And then once we run past them, what we're going to do is we are going to book it over to the right. And there's going to be a shield guy there. There's going to be a couple of uh, taser guys over there. Excuse me. Cattle prod guys. Hit the barrel and stun them if you can or, you know, miss them, whichever. And watch out for Rocket Man over here because he's up to no good. Just run right by him. Run right by him. 
Now, we've got Flash here. Let's magnum this guy. Yeah, watch out for him. Watch out for him. And this guy here is going to Plaga. Hit the switch on this and throw a Flash. Because that'll take care of Plaga. And then that, that'll also stun Brute. Then once we're ready, run past these guys and hop over the railing. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to run out here and we're going to flash our way through this. Hopefully. Quote unquote, hopefully. Now if you have to, if you have to, get that shotgun and do what you got to do. If you have to, make sure you heal. Just toss a flash and just run past these guys. And that should do quite nicely. Once you get up here, hit the switch on the turret. That will keep these guys from coming at you. And luckily, that turret, that turret really helped us out a lot. Like, as soon as we activated that, as soon as, like, he kicked us, the turret caught in his crossfire, and it took him down. But after you do that, just go through this door, and that's pretty much the final really hard part of the game. Yeah. Of all the parts that are blazingly difficult, that's the last one. So give yourself a pat on the back and run up to Ashley here. It's not too much to say about this part. You just have to keep walking forward. Because we're almost done here. Laboratory B. Yeah. Looks like it's this way. We're in a really good spot, guys. You deserve a treat after everything you've just been through. Of course, the game is not over yet. What's happening here is Leon is just going through a bunch of hallucinations because of the infection that him and Ashley have. And you're going to go through all this slow walking stuff to get her and him to Louise's laboratory. Don't worry about it. Just keep walking. Keep walking. And keep walking some more. Make Leon go into the light. A little bit further. A little bit further. This is nothing, don't worry about this. This is just a bunch of... spirits and stuff. So, what we're gonna need for the... Saddler fight is one rocket launcher. <laughs> and honestly, that's really all we need. There's nothing else that we really need to do. We can literally just sell all of our weapons and we'll be okay. Because we're not actually doing any fighting. Not really. And we're definitely not going to fight Krauser the hard and honest way because the hard and honest way is for the birds. No. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher's the right call here. I guess you could fight him honestly if you want to, but it's going to be really hard to get that S plus if you decide to fight everything honestly. This time. Plus, you got to consider it. Like, the rocket launcher is not an unlockable. It's a base part of the game, right? And you could buy it at the merchant three separate times. So, using it really is not a big deal. Once you get through there, just go over and interact with the chair, and Leon will put her on top of it. And they'll effectively be cured now of their condition. So, once that's done, go ahead and loot the room. Just go check out and see if there's anything you can break. There's crates here. There's also stuff just kind of lying around on tables. There's ammo. There's a first aid spray. There's lots of, a few little things here and there. Surprising things. And then go over here once you're done into this room and get Ashley to kick down a ladder for you. We're almost done here, guys. It's not quite over yet. But for the most part, we are done. Now, for this final part, what you're going to want to do is you, you want to have your biosensor scope equipped on your rifle. Because we are going to need it to see some of the stuff that we're going to deal with here shortly. And, you know, as always, loot this place. I mean, look at that. We're still getting so much stuff. You gotta love how they're just giving you all these supplies, man. 
great. That woman who helped us. You think she's all right? Oh, this sure is the point where we got where we want to keep an eye out for things. There shouldn't really be there's only this one right here. So it's not gonna be a super big problem, fortunately. Once we take that one out, we can climb up these ledges. There's not that many bugs in this area. There's not even one like over here, but watch out over there. There's one on the ground and there's one on the wall. Take out the wall one and then take out the ground one. And that should about do it for bugs. Good job, guys. All right, that's really it. Now, I know I I know I said that we were effectively done. Now we really are done. And here in this chest, there's a gold ingot. Let's make one last stop at the merchant. Hit the crates that are in here, take whatever he's got. You know, it's kind of funny, we're kind of just Welcome. taking all of his stuff right in front of him. He should be a little bit more mad. Uh, arrange your treasure? There's no reason to not inlay that gemstone. Just sell whatever you got at this point. Sell all your treasure. Sell it all. If you have anything left over, just sell it. Make sure your body armor's fixed up. I mean, not that it really matters, I guess, because, I mean, it's not we're not really going to be doing hardly any fighting. Sell your weapons. <laughs> Thank you. If you feel like doing, like, a handgun-only challenge or something, I mean, next, for your second playthrough, go ahead. You might even want to consider just buying the Red Nine at this point for, say, a handgun playthrough. It depends what you want to do the next time you play through this. But buy a rocket launcher. First and foremost, buy a rocket launcher. And right here, I'm making sure that my weapons are a little OP for whatever I want to do on a second playthrough. Notice how I've got quite a bit of stank on both the Blacktail and the Red Knight at this point, because I'm planning on doing some wacky things on Professional with them. But also, I've got my rocket launcher, and that's really all we need here. So, let's get a rocket launcher, fire a saddler. Boom. He's gonna jump down, don't be scared. The ro that rocket did the trick. Yeah, he'll jump, he'll always jump down like that, but it's not a big deal at all. Now he's in his final form. Now keep an eye on the tentacles here. Watch out. And if you see the evade button, be sure you press it. And duck. Now we're... When you see the arm kind of like wiggle off to the side there, it kind of it kind of means that hey he's gonna do a swipe, versus when it's kind of just straight up in the air that means he's if, if it does like a little spin that means it's gonna swipe, if it's kind of straight up in the air that means it's gonna do a hammer, and he's really only got like two different attacks here. See see how the one spirals? Yeah, they both spiral there and there. That one's kind of just straight up, and that hammers yeah. Just get yourself out of the way whenever it's straight up. And whenever it does like that swirl, get ready to dodge. After long enough, Ada will toss down the infinite, or excuse me, the rocket launcher. I don't think it's infinite. And then fire that in the middle of the eye. And boom, we just beat Sadler, baby. Sadler is done. It is time to leave this place. Take Ashley and get out of there, dude. I don't even know why they give us an herb here. It's not like we need to heal or anything. There's nothing really that's going to hurt us. Now we can go home. Yeah. Not out of here yet. There is nothing that will hurt us. Although we can still die during this next part. Jump across this ledge. Excuse me, chasm. And once you get to this door, go off to the side. Otherwise, he'll grab you, but he doesn't do any damage. He just grabs you and it kind of delays you a little bit it's just kind of inconvenient more so than it is bad for you guys you really want to get yourself ready for this next part because this is going to be a lot harder than saddler was the jet ski on professional is a little bit of a test of patience but also we can't afford to dilly dally So, you want to accelerate here. We don't really have a choice, otherwise we're not going to have enough time. Accelerate and kind of keep yourself in the middle here and veer off to the right. Because there's going to be an opening there and then 
Slow down if you have to to get around that wall. You don't want to crash into the pillars. Don't crash into the pillars, otherwise you will die. If you hit a little trash, that's fine. Just don't run into anything big. Okay. Mob and weave. Don't hit anything large. If you hit anything large, it's going to be really, really bad for you. And if you have to slow down a little bit, go ahead and do it. Just don't slow down for too long. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. These things are going to fall in the water. Goes right, left, right. Okay. Thread the needle there. And then use that ramp. And then veer to the right over here. This should be a pretty simple section to manage. Watch out for more trash, and then use the ramp, baby. Okay, good job there. Now, let's wash ourselves. Let's wash ourselves. There's going to be another thing right there. Okay. We're just threading the needle some more. No big deal. Just thread the needle again on the right, and then veer off to the left there, and then hit that ramp, and then let's wash ourselves. We're almost there, guys. Thread that needle again, and just keep going straight. We're almost there. We're there. And we're out of here. Check it out, guys. That's the end of the game. Congratulations. You just won Resident Evil 4 Remake. S+. Plus. You beat the island with time to spare. You should feel good about yourself. That is epic, dude. That was really hard. It was really, really hard. So if you've done that, and you're able to get through with a good time, you deserve to get yourself you something nice. Right? Get a nice coffee, get a get a candy bar, uh, whatever you like, man. You deserve it. Thank you for saving me. Don't mention Treat yourself. You know, I could put in a word with my dad, have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested. You don't need me. You proved you could handle yourself. If you feel like this is too hard at first, just be patient. Be patient and keep trying. Because the more you play it, the easier it's going to feel, right? And if it feels too hard, come back to it. I do that all the time. I come back to things if they seem too hard at first, and then it gradually gets easier, thankfully. Feels good to have that big win after all that work. This one's taking a lot of work, guys. Um, initially, I wasn't sure how I was gonna play this. I uh, wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to, but I kept at it. Uh, learned how to play the game. Figured out strats that were a little bit more consistent, and uh, well, now you're seeing what I've done here. So hopefully this helps you out a lot on your own playthrough. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, guys. I really appreciate that. And if you want to check out my other videos, feel free to check out some of those, too. And also, you know, check me out live on the weekends. So, thank you again for watching. There's our S+. Plus. Now, I'll see you again soon, guys. Uh, catch you again next time. Have a great day. And good luck on your own playthroughs, my friends. I'll see you again soon, everyone. Bye-bye, guys.